This is Excel Champ. Thanks for tuning in. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to remove any duplicate values from any column or multiple columns in your data set so that you can get down to the core unique values you have in there for whatever reason you might need to do that. But before we jump into that, YouTube tells me that 99% of my viewers are not subscribed to this channel, so do me a favor and just click the subscribe button below. And if you get a chance, also like this video. Now let's jump right in. So here we have our data set of different sales which happen to different regions by different reps and different items. Now if we want to get this data set down to just find out how many reps we have, we could easily do that by selecting our entire data set. And then we're going to go up to Data, Remove Duplicates, and we're going to click that. And this gives us a couple different options here on what to do. Um, First, we want to check off, make sure that it's checked off that my data has headers, which headers are this first row at the top of your data set, meaning this is not part of the data set. This is just identifying what those columns are, because if we uncheck that, we could see that all of our columns here turn to just the letters which reference that, and it thinks that this first row is part of our data set. But since it's not, we're going to make sure that's checked. And we want to see just the unique reps that we have. So we're going to uncheck all of these or we could just hit unselect all and then we're going to click on rep and then we're going to hit ok and this will narrow this data set down regardless of what's in each one of these other cells to our core number of reps and we'll have one row for each rep that we have if we hit ok we can see that 25 values have been removed and 11 unique values remain and we can see now in our rep column we have just one of each of our reps now the rest of this data kind of at this point has become irrelevant, but at least now we could tell how many reps we have and we have 11 total just as that pop-up had told us. Now we're going to flip to another tab which has this same data set and say we want to filter on or remove duplicates from two columns, meaning we have a region here and a rep and we want to see how many different regions we have paired with reps. So once again, if we highlight our entire data set, we hit remove duplicates, we're gonna unselect all and then make sure we check off region and rep. And this means anytime there is a different combination of rep and region together, it'll narrow it down to just those cases. And if we hit okay, it's gonna say 25 values have been found and removed and 11 unique values remain. However, in this case, we only have one rep to each region, so it's giving us the same result here. But nonetheless, if we had a single rep to two different regions or a single region with two different reps, it would show us each one of those values here. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you found this tutorial useful and helpful. And if you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more Excel content.